Welcome. In this video, I want to address something that all of us have experienced and all of us have struggled with if we're working on music, if we're passionate about it, if we're ambitious about it, if we want to get better, which is why we practice. Practicing is um, tricky because we're focusing on what we can't do in order to be able to do it. So it can be uh, it can be very discouraging, obviously. So we need to find that balance of challenging ourselves but maintaining some uh, you know pot, some amount of a positive outlook to still have it be a positive experience and, and something nourishing and we're learning because it's it's something we want in our life, not because we just want to beat ourselves up every day for what we can't do. So the, the thing I want to talk about is um, the idea that musical ability, musical knowledge, musical skill is not a linear process. This is not, there's not a linear set of body of information that you go through and say, oh, I made it to level one, I made it to level two, I made it to level three. It can be helpful to set up exercises, curriculums, method books that way where you're like, oh, cool, I made it to level two, but it's not an innate thing. It's not, it doesn't naturally exist as um, I am now a level two musician or a level three musician or whatever, or even beginner versus expert. Though you can, you know, if you're just starting something, it's easy to say you're a beginner, but things get fuzzy really quickly. And I, and I want to talk about this because um, we can get this idea in our head of thinking, am I better than that person? Is that person better than me? Um, is that person better than that person? Is it like, who's, who's worse, who's better? Um, and for some reason, we kind of uh, like that. We want some clean compartmentalized box to put everything in, to categorize people in. Um, but it's so much more, and I think if any of us, any of us thought about this, you, you would agree with me, but, um, I really thought about it a lot, you know, for, from going through my own experience, but, but teaching people for years and years and, and seeing the same kind of challenges come up where, where we're like, ah, but you know, when am I going to get to this level or when, it, or, or like, of course, getting discouraged by seeing someone on Instagram do something or, or whatever, like, oh, they're a better musician than me. But it's like, it's not only not true when you see that, I mean, it's like impossible to define. Um, I, I think it's just impossible for, for that to be a concept at all. I just think it's not a thing, right? I'm not, I'm not just saying this to be some kind of motivational, uh, positive psychology uh, speaker. It, I really believe that it's not even something that exists to say that this musician is better than this other musician. Um, and, and again, I don't just mean it on this, like everyone is, is equally valuable. And I do, I do believe that, but it doesn't, that's not kind of my core point. I just mean, even as far as like musicianship skill and, uh, you know, what you can artistically bring to the table or, or whatever, there are differences in sometimes genres like, or, or you can look at sports, right? Like, sports say running track running a race you know someone either was faster than the other person or they weren't right you were you you were first place or second place or third place and it's like that was that you know and for that race you ran faster but music is not like that as, as an overall mu musicianship labeling as far as like saying how good am i at music and i think it's so often reduced down to that it's so often um it's so often simplified into that idea of like good or bad musician that I, I think it's just toxic. I think it's destructive. And I think it, it um, and it's so not true that it's worth saying this. And I'll, I'll, I talk to people about it all the time and I just wanted to make a video of it. It's, it's hard to articulate and, and emphasize in, in the way that I would like to, because I, I feel so strongly about it. But, you know, if we look at details, of your playing little tiny things you know the things that trigger you to think someone's better or worse than someone else or than yourself we can we can say specific things and and be accurate just like the running the race analogy right so like oh that pl person can play a bach loot suite and i can't right they must be better or they can play a scale faster than me you know we tried we tested it we ran the race and they were faster than me so sure fine you could say that person you know right now is can play a faster scale than me but it doesn't make them a better guitarist or a better musician and the reason is because it's so crazy multifaceted the uh, and this is why music is such a such an amazing pursuit because it is so 
multifaceted. It is, there's so many elements to it. So if someone is an accomplished classical musician and they can sight read music in this impressive way and they you know have this classical technique, but they've never once improvised anything or, or composed anything and they can't even conceive of how they would do that. And someone else plays 100% by ear and they are improvising and they're writing songs and they're self-taught and their technique is maybe funky compared to some pedagogical norm. Um, is one of those musicians better than the other musician? You see my point? Like, and we're all a mix match of, of all kinds of things, um, of our skills, maybe our, what a lot of people think of as, as their kind of natural ability, but I think it's where your curiosity leads you, right? So someone who's written songs for years but hasn't practiced scales can get down on themselves. They're like, oh, I'm not, I don't have a practice routine, but they're so creative all the time. And then other people are like, you know, working on sweet picking, but not writing those songs that they want to write. And so there's just so many categories of things that add up and make us the musicians that we are or make someone the musician that they are. And when when we see something, hear something, get triggered by something, it's just one little display, right? And it's this classic issue of social media nowadays where people see someone on their vacation and they're like, my life's not as good and, and whatnot, you know, the easily comparing yourself to other people. It's a little display. You can put on a display of, of making it seem like you have everything in your fingertips, but nobody does, nobody does. Um, so if you play something, you hear someone play something and and this is separate from being moved by it you know or or how much it's it affects someone like someone can prepare something just and that's the only thing they can play and they don't know anything about the theory and they don't know you know but they play it and and it's moving to someone and it's a beautiful performance awesome that that and that's like the only thing they did and they prepared for it and someone else has um a lot of versatility and um maybe knows all the details of the theory and, and ear training and all of that stuff. Um, and maybe have been, have been playing for years and years longer. Are they more valuable? Can they make something that moves someone, um, in a way that is deeper? No, not necessarily. Right. Like a kid playing, um, violin for a year can make their mom cry and be proud. Right. And, and that's powerful. That's art. That is, that is why we're drawn to music, right? We're not drawn to music to say, I hope in 20 years I'm, you know, better than these people or really good or whatever. And, and unfortunately we, we can tend to go down the dark side path sometimes. So this is, this is wanting to steer us towards the, towards the, Hey, we're all in it together path. And, and it's, it's, it's music, it's art, it's expression, it's communication, and none of it is better or worse than any other amount of it. So what you're drawn to, what you're curious about, what you, what inspires you, it's just so different for so many people. So um, I like to work on really technical things. I like to work on very theoretical things. I like to, I really like to practice and, and try really hard to practice and, and get good at certain things. And, and I like to be creative, but I don't ever think that that's something that anyone should do. You know, and if I ever say that, then I'm, I'm misspeaking. And I hope I never say that. And I hope I never say, all guitarists should do this thing, right? It's only if, hey, if this is interesting to you, if this is, if, if you're kind of my type of person, if, if we're like, and I know you're out there because I teach some, some of you and I, and I talk to people and, and there's, you know, just for the sake of the exploration and the curiosity and how centering it feels to practice. These are, these are, I think, really grounded reasons to be working on music, not because I want that result, because I want to show it off, because I want the attention, because I want um, to be better than someone else. Not that friendly competition is not healthy. I mean, it could be very motivating to be around people and be you know, motivated to work on, on something and gain a skill. But, um, but again, my point is that I, I really just don't think it's a thing that someone can be a better musician than someone else. And, um, you know, I had been kind of thinking this way for a while already, you know, start, starting to at least um, many, many years ago um, when I went to a workshop that Bill Frizzell was uh, conducting. And um, 
in that, he basically said this exact same thing. I mean, not I'm 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 trying to elaborate on, on it more and kind of express my uh, like how passionate I am about it. But you know, he said it as kind of a quick comment for to a, a response to a question or something where he was just like, "How can that be possible? How can someone be a better musician than someone else? That's ridiculous." You know, it's like he he basically was saying like, "I, I don't I don't see how that's even a concept that can that can exist." And I was like yes you know i was like that awesome like it just gave me this permission to kind of roll with that even more and over time and over years of of teaching and playing and, and playing gigs uh, i've only embraced it more and more and, and um and really believe in it and what it helps me do is it helps me um keep music in my life for the reasons that i i feel are centering to me and reject the the ways of having it in my life that i think uh, feel uh, toxic and um a lot of a lot of situations can be triggering and toxic a lot of you know depending on maybe the values that people have that you're surrounded by as far as what they think is good or bad or why someone should do something or shouldn't do something or you know in music or everyone needs to learn this thing or that that kind of attitude just depends on on what you expose yourself to and so i i i shut out a lot of uh, I, I try not to expose myself to anything that has that kind of flavor to it. And, um, you know, my own practice time is very, very personal to me. Um, so I just wanted to to try my best at um, expressing this idea. And um, I, th I think I think it'll come up um, other times as well. I think it'll come up more. But uh, that's my first attempt at, at just going for it and, and saying this. Um, so, you know, let me know what you think. Do you agree? Um, if, do you totally disagree? Let me know either way, and and we can kind of have a start a conversation about it. So um, that that's it for now. Uh, until next time, I hope to see you in another lesson, and happy practicing. <laughs>